such thing as an accident on our roads, only a crash and too many Tasmanians are road crash victims. The number one cause of crashes in our state is speeding. The 37-year-old man was driving to Beaconsfield when he lost control of his vehicle and ran off the road. In the last five years, 25% uh, of serious uh, injury crashes uh, has been the result of speed. If you're travelling at 40 kilometres per hour, you may stop in seven metres or something like that. But if you double your speed, your stopping distance doesn't double. It actually increases by a factor of four. We're at the police academy at the driver training track area. We can do a little exercise in the car to show the difference between the distance that a vehicle is going to travel at 60 kilometres per hour in comparison to 65. Okay, so that was at 60 kilometres per hour. We're just going to place a, a, a witch's hat uh, right where the vehicle stopped. So now we're going to do the same uh, approach, uh, but we, I'm going to increase the speed to 65 kilometres per hour. So from that exercise, we can see that uh, the vehicle's travelled approximately three metres extra. Uh, with the extra five kilometres per hour on, and that could made, mean the difference between hitting and missing that person standing on the road. A lot of drivers uh, think that they're bulletproof and uh, 10 foot tall, and they believe that uh, they're not going to be involved in the crash. This is Luke. His life was changed forever after he crashed while speeding. Speeding through Shawwell in, onto Morville Road and lost control, and flipped onto me roof and skidded through the fence and way up to the corner. Didn't have a seat belt on. I landed in the back seat on the roof, upside down. Yeah, I had nine bleeds to my brain and I had to drill a hole through my skull and release the pressure. I had a minor stroke down my left hand side. Got a broken wrist. Now it's got steel plate with eight screws in it. I had to learn how to walk, talk, eat basically everything. I'm not allowed to drive ever again. I lost peripheral vision to my left eye. I can't run anymore. I still get places I can walk and stuff. I've got to have a bit of a limp. I'm still normal, but a bit slower and it's affected me in a big way. People that are watching this, don't speed. You've got so much to lose at the end of the day for one silly action. That could be your life.